Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, soul driver, family member, thank you so very much for your continuous love, your support. I appreciate you. I always want you to know that I couldn't do this without you. And for that, I am... I am very, very thankful. And again, if this is your first time, I hope that this message will resonate with you. You will subscribe, be a part of the family. It would be awesome to have you as a part of the tribe as well. Please give these videos a thumbs up so that others can be encouraged as well. Leave a comment if you felt led to do so and share. Thank you. So, Scorpio, how are you getting on their nerves? Wow, this card, it just dropped out. <laughs> Kindness, look at your heart. You have a heart of gold. You're kind. Again, maybe people thought that what they have done to you, the things that you have gone through, you would be mean. But it's like you have such your heart. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Pure hands, clean, I mean, your heart is pure. Your hands are clean. I mean, you're like a child standing in your innocence. In spite of everything that you have gone through, there is this innocence about you that just radiates, that, that just glow. Again, with everything that you have gone through in life, you are not bitter you are better because of it you're very kind you have a heart of gold and again just the colors so beautiful so big you have you definitely have a heart of gold and even to some of those people who hurt you you're you're i mean you you're not gonna render evil for evil but instead you render that with kindness because i believe you know about karma you know vengeance is mine said the lord i will repay and so you're just out there and you're doing your thing because it's like you know you have this assurance that people they're not hurting you they're hurting themselves or they're hurting God, trying to hurt you. You know, it's, it's almost as if, in a way, the heart is shielding you from something. It's like they're not hurting you. They're hurting God. You're protected. And this is why you're, you're so kind. At the back here, it's love. Look at that. Your love. Again, in spite of everything you have gone through. And we know, Scorpios, when you love, you love. Like I say, you have a heart of gold. People may, it may seem scary at first. Oh, you're Scorpio, you sting. But once anyone who have that ability or who earns the right to, with your trust, and to get to know you again they'll realize you have a heart of gold and when you love mm, you're relentless power good girl is crossed out and again guys take this as good you know good guy you cross that out it's like you're not dimming your light to fit in anymore you know, this is like saying, good girl, gone bad. You're in your power now. It's like you're feeling yourself. You've taken your power back. You're not trying to appease people anymore. Because you realize you can't please anybody. You just need to be authentic. And live your pure life. It's like, this is me. Take it or leave it. But I'm not going to dim to fit in. 
I am made to stand out. My opinion matters. For a lot of you, for a long time, you have been a good girl, goody two-shoe, a good guy. You're trying to make everybody else happy. And then you realize, you know what? This is working for everybody else but me. I'm going to put my foot down. I'm going to stop allowing people to walk all over me, to take advantage of me. It's like enough is enough. I'm taking my power back. I am standing in my truth. This tells me that you know your worth. You love yourself. Self-mastery. You're standing in your power. Yeah, you're standing in your power. Yep, awesome. And possibilities, like a lot of you, you're dreamers as well. You may be manifesting. I mean, look at her. She's dreaming of all these plans and ideas so a lot of you you're you're getting on people's nerves because you're spending time by yourself creating the life that you know you deserve and you desire and a lot of you you're getting a lot of information a lot of downloads great ideas come into mind you're just you're just manifesting really how you're getting on their nerves. Again, you're taking time by yourself. You're meditating. I mean, look at look at her airing. You're embracing your spirituality as well. Maybe in the past you weren't like this, but now it's like Zen. You're focused on yourself. This is what is getting on their nerves. And when I look, I see the lamp. It's kind of like the spotlight is on you. That's how you're getting. It's like you're in your world, but you're still getting a lot of attention. You're embracing your spirituality, breathing, manifesting, you know, spending time probably out, outdoors. You have your plants on the inside as well. So you don't have time for people. How are you getting on their nerves at the back of the deck? Listen. So for a lot of you, you are probably a good listener to some of these people, a very good friend. And maybe you're not there anymore to, to, to shoulder people's burden anymore. A lot of people used to use you as their therapist. And you're not, you're not doing that anymore. Because when it's your time, nobody was there for you. So you're getting on people's nerves again because you're just in your own world. It's like you're taking your power back and you're looking out for yourself right now. Um, spread how, how is Scorpio getting on their nerves? Oh, wow. It came back out again. Listen. Yeah. So a lot of you, you're good listeners. You're very good friends. Make great therapists or counselors. Even if you're not that by profession, but you give excellent advice and suggestions to people. And if you're no longer in these people's life, they're definitely missing you. They're definitely missing you at this time. Well, look, yeah, they're missing your energy too. At the back of the deck, yes. A lot of you remember your energy, it's currency. Some of these people, they were energy vampires. And so you're getting on their nerves because they can't get to drain you anymore. You were very kind, you're sheer. Look again, the heart. I mean, you, you were a giver. You just love to take care of people. And you change course. So a lot of people, you're getting on their nerves. Because you change things up. You become, you, you stop becoming so predictable. Now you're following your, your chosen path. The opinion of others, it doesn't matter anymore. For a lot of you, you're, you're getting on their nerves because, again, look at the keys. It shows you have options as well. So a lot of you, you may be doing, having side hustles, you know, it's just, you're just living life out loud right now. You're taking chances. You're not afraid anymore. 
and you're getting on people's nerves because you're happy. You're happy is like you find peace and joy in yourself. Night or day, you learn to embrace your dark side and your lighter side. A lot of you, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're radiating this time. It's like by yourself. People are upset. It's like, how can you be by yourself and you're happy? And it shows you're glowing, you're radiating. Look, priorities. So a lot of you, you've made yourself a priority. Some of you, you're actually penciling yourself on the calendar. You know, when you want to have those self-care days, which days you want to take off. So maybe before people were able to just, you just um, call you up, let's do this, let's go here, and you're deciding, no, you know, I have these things that I have planned. So now your life is more organized, basically. Wow, this is lovely. Love that, love that, love that. Okay, Spirit. How is Scorpio getting on their nerves? Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, so a lot of these people, you're getting on their nerves because, again, the things that they did to you, they, they cause a lot of adversity challenges and problems in your life again things that were meant to break you and it's like you just get used to it you're it's like you're numb to it now it's like when another challenge come you're like what's next i mean that's the whole rebirth and tower with scorpio death is like you after a while you just realize okay this is this is a part of life so you're accepting challenges and adversities again. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. You're, you're learning to look at the bright side of life. And this is why a lot of you, you're not, you're not even taking things personal anymore. You're not. At the back, abundance. You're realizing you're a limitless being and you can manifest whatever in I desire in this physical reality. So you realize abundance is your birthright. And this is what's getting on their nerves. You're very abundant at this time in various areas of your life. Whether you know it or not. People out there may be envious or jealous. Because you know of, your, of just who you are. But you're very abundant. You're getting on people's nerves now because a lot of you, you're becoming more patient. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And so you're not fighting the feeling anymore. You realize you're, you're not in a rat race with anybody anymore because what is yours is yours. What is mine cannot be undermined. You know that what God has for you, it is for you. And so you're either sitting in your power, standing in your power, knowing that all things will work together for your good in the end. God is in control. Awesome. Spread how is Scorpio getting on their nerves? So maybe in the past you were impatient and people are realizing they can't, you know, they can't get you out of your comfort zone is like they can't throw you off balance anymore. Nobody can say, oh, that is taking so long. If I, if it was me, I would give up on that situation. It's like you're realizing slow and steady wins the race. The race is not for the swift. The battle is not for the strong. But it is for those who endure forever. Spirit, how is Scorpio getting on their nerves? Wow, gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it brings. So for a lot of you, you're more gracious. You're more thankful. You appreciate life more. It's about the little things now. It's like you're getting back to the basics. You're realizing that everything starts and begins with thanks, especially when it comes to the divine. And this is why with all the meditating here, 
you know, just in tune with yourself and the divine. You're appreciative for life and the opportunities that surround you. And you know, the more that you're gracious is the more blessing you'll get. Look, love again. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So again, in spite of everything that you have gone through, you have a heart of gold. You love people. Now a lot of you, again, maybe in the past it wasn't like that, but you're learning to see the good in all things. You're not so hard on yourself anymore. You know, if you're running late, you're not going to get upset because you know that anything could happen. Maybe you were safe from an accident. So therefore, it's like you're just letting go and you're letting God. It's like you're going with the flow pretty much. You're going with the flow. Spread house, Scorpio, getting on their nerves. And a lot of you too, you may be more spiritual as well. And this changed a lot about you. Loneliness, I know that I'm never alone. So again, a lot of you, you're getting on people's nerves because... Again, even though you're by yourself, like we saw the card earlier, you're, it's like it's driving people crazy because not everybody can spend time by themselves. They have to be around people all the time. And so even if they are making fun of you that you don't have any friend, you're alone, you know you're not alone. You know that God is with you, angels are with you. You're never alone. You're covered. And this is the beauty about you. And so even when a lot of people were lonely as well, you were a very good listener to them. So you're getting on their nerves because you take time, spend time by yourself. You don't need to be around other people. You're patient with yourself. You've come to accept certain things in life. And you realize that all things are working for your good. Everything is working for your good. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Look, self-love. So a lot of you, you love yourself now. This is how you're getting on their nerves. Remember we saw the picture with the calendar, how you're, you're penciling, you're prioritizing yourself now. You love yourself and it is showing. Some of you, it's you loving on your family. Guys, you loving on your children if you have. But you're nurturing the kid inside of you. You're healing the inner child. So all this time and attention you are giving to people who did not deserve you, you're now pouring that into yourself. You know, look at him. He's like he's taking the little kid inside of him out for a walk nurturing himself loving on himself healing self-love beautiful wow you're getting on their nerves yeah letting go so you you're getting on people's nerve because you're not afraid to let go you know that you can safely let things go god is in control again you have been through a lot See, we have here too the power card. We have the power card where you've taken your power back. So you're letting go off of anybody's uh, obligation that you have to them, that they think you owe them something. You're letting go any validation. Maybe you're always relying on people to validate you, to affirm you. You have matured. You are mature. You're taking your power back right now. I see that. That's awesome. Yeah, because you surrender at the back of the deck. You gave it all to the divine. So this is why this came, I think, because a lot of you, 
this is because a lot of you, like I said, you're probably more spiritual now. You're embracing that side of you. Non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine through. So a lot of you, you're just being yourself right now. So let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. So you are embracing, again, who you are. You're authentic to, you're true to the human side of you. And it's like I'm saying, it's like now a lot of you, you're more spiritual. You're also honoring the inner divine, the inner God is like now again you're you're more spiritual than religious. You believe that you can be fluent, you can be good at honoring God and also taking care of yourself, spending quality time by yourself. You're getting on a lot of people nerves. I saw that card before I shuffled, but it was popping out. I saw grief. So a lot of people are, are in grief right now. Look, you're grounded. So a lot of you, you're living with joy, dignity, and courage. Again, you have taken your power back. Again, this is you out in nature. I see a lot of nature here. Or spending time, you have your trees, your plants around you. Look at all the butterflies, the transformation. It's a many of the most evolved things on earth are regular. Folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So you are in your space. Living with joy, dignity, and courage. You are evolving like you see the butterflies there. You are transforming. It's like you're being your balance. You're one with the divine on yourself. This is beautiful. That's getting on their nerves because, you know, people like to be able to throw you off balance and get you rattled and they can't get under your skin anymore that's good like i said i see a lot here you know you taking your power back you spending time by yourself you the divine nature being patient with yourself taking your power back and just loving on yourself scheduling whatever spa you know whatever care you're taking care of yourself following the path of another your path is being re redirected to where it should be yeah so we saw that change card your change course so a lot of you you're following your own path you say your path is being redirected to where it should be so you're more like in your purpose now you're going down the path where you are intended to go. Maybe in the past, you were a follower. Like I said, you would ask people for their opinions as to which direction you should go. And maybe people were misleading you, misguiding you. But now you're on your right, your right path. Stay strong. Be a guiding light. Ground yourself. Be love. Look, ground yeah you're grounded you're strong now it's like you're in your purpose you're a guiding light for others a lot of you four plus one is five you are the change your light irritates their darkness you see how dark everywhere is and just just this light there because now you know who you are wow mm-hmm -mm. This is awesome. Spread how is Scorpio getting on their nerves? Oh, too many. Look, you are your greatest gift. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. Look how beautiful that is. A whole new world 
this is 28, this is 10, endings bring new beginnings. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. You are the greatest gift. This is how you're getting on people's nerves. Again, you've taken your power back. Now people realize when you're gone, remember we saw the card here, you're a great listener, you're a very good friend. And you have, once you depart, the glory leaves with you. Now you're on your life's journey. You left these people in the past who are no longer serving you. And again, by you loving yourself, knowing your self-worth, you are realizing now that you are the gift. People used to make you feel or think as if they were the gift. When all this time, you are the gift. And a lot of you, you're realizing that now. Anybody who becomes your friend, your partner, your spouse, any business or company that you work for, you bring them blessings, you bring them luck. And so a lot of you, this is some of you, you're even pulling your energy back. We saw the energy card, right? You're pulling your energy back, pouring that into building your own business because you're realizing you are the gift. I'm wasting my time with people who don't deserve me. Look, what does your heart want? Be free to manifest your heart's desire. Yes, I told you, we saw that dream card that, you know, a lot of you, you're spending time, you see the breathing, you're grounded. You're just in your in that time of your life where you know that you have the ability to manifest, to call what it is in you know that power lies within you, especially the non-duality card here. You know that as, as a human being, you still, you are, you, you, are, you, you are one with the divine and you can manifest what it is that you desire and you deserve. You have that power within you. Jesus did said it. We would do greater things. And so a lot of you, you're really believing that. Like I said, there's a lot of transformation here. A lot of people who are on their path and you're in your power. Nobody can fool you anymore. Nobody can brainwash you anymore. Now you know. It's like now you know. You know the truth and the truth sets you free. You know the truth. See with your heart. The time is now to hear the messages. Yeah. So a lot of you, you're getting on people's nerves. Like I said, a lot of you, you're in your purpose. Some of you, you're writing books. You're speaking. You have your channels. And you are speaking. Your People are tuning in, you know, to get the message, to get the word. Even if you don't have a channel, but... Just every day in your everyday life, when you meet people, you can leave them with a word of knowledge. The time is now. So again, a lot of you right now, you're living, you're living, you're living in your purpose. That's awesome. I love this for you. That's beautiful. Oh, let me see. Maybe I can do a few more cards. Spread, how is Scorpio getting on their nerves? Wow. Your breakthrough is here. This is how you're getting on their nerves. A lot of people wanted you to break. But no, they realize instead your breakthrough is here. You didn't give up. You did not give in. Even though a lot of people may have tried to sacrifice you, you did not break. And now they're realizing your breakthrough is here. The things that you manifested just changes. Big things are happening in your life. And that's how you're getting on their nerves, Scorpio. Wow, 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 wow. Look. You're crushing the enemies. You're crushing them. Yep, you are crushing them. Your enemies are now your footstool. 
Yeah, it's like all the things, the evil things that they they wanted to happen to you. No. Instead, you now they're realizing you are the head and you're not the tail. Look, this is your time. This is how you're crushing the enemies. I'm telling you, you are in your power. You're realizing you are the gift. You're loving on yourself. Yeah. So a lot of these people, the heartache, heartbreak, and disappointment, no more. They remember you based on what they have done to you with a heartache and a heartbreak. Look, another card of grat gratitude, give thanks. But instead of you, again, being bitter, you are better because of what you've gone through. Again, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. For a lot of you, you are now healed. These people are shocked. Look, you have a calling on your life. This is how you're crushing, you're, you're, I said crushing, you're triggering or you're getting on their nerves. Whoa, it's a lot. Maybe you are triggering people. Evil eyes and spells are broken. Yes. You're getting on their nerves because the things that they plan for you, it's not coming to pass. It did not come to pass. You defeated the enemies. Two cards with crushing and defeating you are on top, my friend. Look, the truth. This is the truth. Wow. That's the truth. That's confirmation. That's the truth. I love it. I love it for you. I love it for you. I love it for you. Keep getting on their nerves. Your breakthrough is here. You have a great calling on your life. This is why I sense that with all the kindness, 